I remember Freddie on iCarly used to be like, in five, four, three, two. What's happening, gangsters and gangstacks? Welcome back to the welcome back to our very first episode of Enjoy the Show. It's your girl Aja. And it is your boy Kevoski Goop Kevo, man. You know me, you know what the deal is, you know what the business is, man. What's going on with y'all? What's down, brother? It's our very first episode. What's down? What's going on, man? We out here. It's called Enjoy the Show. Enjoy the Show. We yeah. talk about black movies and black TV movies. shows. Kind of what the film culture is. Black movies, black culture, black everything, black on black forever. Ooh wee. Yeah. Can we go through our pictures on the wall real quick yeah, before we get a crack? Let's take a second. Let's do that. I like this. Where you want to start? Um, okay. Start I here. mean, okay. Let's start off with the black power, you know. Love our people, man. I'm rocking yeah, with you it. Know. Okay. What's underneath? What, what cool is that? Uh, I don't know. What's chill cool? out. Chill out. What's chill cool out. Is that? I don't know. It's the uh, illustrious Clark Atlanta University. Oh, wow. You know, the it's map. <laughs> Just a map. I do. I'm a proud alumna. Alumna of my HBCU. Go okay. Clark. Yeah. yeah well, congrats. <laughs> uh, I'm just kidding. Nah, yeah, man. Shout out her. Shout out Clark. Yeah. Yeah, Atlanta. Um, right here we have <laughs> a Goop Tribune Ooh. painting. Who's the... Kev, quick question. Who's the Goop? Who's the Goop? I think that question will be answered at a later date. Not Ooh. today. Okay. We'll, okay. We'll come back to that one like day, that. but okay. not today. Yeah. Okay. Next one. Um... Kane. Kane. Stay up, Kane. Kane, bleeding out. Stay up. R.P. Harold, man. He couldn't make it home. He went out hard. I'll tell you that. He went out fighting. He tried. He tried. He tried. And then under that, there's a, a family photo. This is real family. If you're going to go through everything you went through with this group, y'all family for real. For real, for real. I like that. Just make it to Mexico, though. Only one did. Damn. Damn, Jada. What was the worst death in that movie? Jada's Ooh, she didn't die. Sorry. Queen Latifah, Kimberly Lee, or Vivica Fox? Vivica was pretty sad. You it know, I didn't want to say uh Queen Latifah because that's pretty generic, but Vivica <laughs> was actually pretty sad. She got done dirty. But she went out like a G though. She yeah. with the same nigga that tried to get her. So it's just like a full circle moment. It is very but not much in so. a good way. No. The saddest one to me was Kimberly Lee. She had a baby. She had a child. Man, you, she, she knew she signed up for. She knew it was, she knew that was gonna come with it. You gonna do it for your lying. child though? You gonna rock out for your kid? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a good movie. That's a classic. That's a All classic. Right. But Set actually, right, so let me start off with um this right here. Go crazy. You know, recently the film culture had posted mm. how many black movies have you seen? That's a very one good question. point equals one movie. I hate to be that guy, but um, <laughs> I only got twenty eight. Out, out of, of 50. Out of 50. 28 out of 50. Okay, there's a lot of classics on this list. There was a lot of classics. Okay. I will admit. I don't know if I want to know the ones you have seen or haven't. Show me, tell me what you've seen. Can I just say for the people listening and watching this? <laughs> 28 divided by <laughs> 50. That's a that's 56 percent. That's very bad. If you got that on an exam. I have got that on an exam. That's what I'm saying. You know how bad that is. You not. It's going to be hard to recover. Yeah, but you can recover from this because you can watch these movies. Yeah, luckily, it's summertime. Okay. All I got is time. And thanks to the film culture, all these movie guides, I can get up to speed and be hip quick as hell while you playing. I like the sound of that. Yeah, nah. now, Let's go through this list. Tell me what you have seen. We're going 1 through 50. Which ones have you? And then I'll tell you which ones I haven't seen because my score, yeah, yeah. I've seen Boys in the Hood set it off. Friday, Menace Society, Juice, Above the Rim, Paid in Full, mm -hmm. Poetic Justice, House Party, Ways <gasps> Deep, ATL, Love Don't Cost a Thing, Johnson's Family Vacation, of course. Of course. I 10 by 10. Cameo, <laughs> you know. Um, the Wood, of course. Okay. Drumline. <laughs> <laughs> you just skipped like six movies, bro. I did skip a few. Jason's lyric, Crooklyn, how high? I don't know what Jason's lyric is. With Jada and the dude from it's, Tyler Perry's House just, of Pain. Okay. No, okay. Um, Drumline, okay. White Chicks, okay. Moonlight, Stomp the Yard, This Christmas, of course. Mm -hmm. um, Baby Boy, Dope. Mm -hmm. Dope, not the dope I'm thinking of, not the mm -hmm. modern day. You, dope. It's the one that is. 2015? That's that movie. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's that movie. 
Girls Trip, Love and Basketball. You seen Girls Trip? <laughs> yeah, I seen Girls Trip, man. Chill out, bro. <laughs> Love and Basketball. Um, Get Out, mm-hmm. Players Club. We, yeah, we just, just watched Players Club an hour ago. Literally. Um, Why Did I Get Married? You... <laughs> okay. Life. Mm-hmm. Life is great. Coming to America. Mm-hmm. A thin line between love and hate. Okay. And that's it. Yeah. <laughs> you missing some classics, bro. I am missing some good ones. I am. You know, I still ain't see Belly. How high? I haven't seen Belly either. You didn't see Belly? No. I thought you would have seen Belly. No. Sorry. Oh. But you see how you put me on the Paid in Full and I hadn't seen Paid in Full. And now she like, just seen Paid in Full like a month ago. Yeah. Changed my life. Crazy. A body different. I'm, I'm different. I'm different. I'm moving different. I, redemption. I like that. <laughs> redemption. Kev, you ain't seen Crooklyn. It's like a spikely class. Okay. No, see you ain't seen Soul Plane. No. With Kevin Hart and Met the Man and Snoop Dogg and literally every. You black can start person. naming people. <laughs> no, I didn't. I haven't seen Soul Plane. Good lord. Okay. I'm not proud of the movies I haven't seen, but I've seen a lot. Uh, of course, what, I, what number have you seen? It's like 47, 48. Man. I'm kind of up there. I haven't seen Jason's lyric. I know I was. I haven't seen that movie. I've seen them frolicking in the in the flower field. That's about if it. If you've seen forty eight of them, you don't even have to name <laughs> the ones you haven't you you've seen. You just name the ones that you haven't seen. Okay, I haven't seen Correct. Harlem Nights all the way through. Okay. Harlem Nights. I haven't seen Jason's lyric, like I just said. Um, I haven't seen Moonlight yet. I feel like Moonlight is one I have to sit and watch and really focus in on. And that's about it. I've seen the rest of these. Wow. But a thin line between love and hate. You know how sometimes you watch a movie, but you don't? Yeah. Like, you, <laughs> like I can tell you what happened, that but happened I'm really not sure. Like, twice. <laughs> like, you know what's going down. You know Ricky gets shot. But it's like, what happened between this and yeah, that? Yeah, like, who's talking and... <laughs> I didn't even know he was in that movie. Like, all Ooh. That. I was like, just in general. In general. I like that. This meme has been going viral lately. I like that everybody is reposting it. And this meme, I made this meme in like 2018. This meme is, shit, what year are we in? 2022? 2022. And it's actually, it's a three-part meme because obviously there's more than 50 black movies, especially movies that we think are classic. I like people in the comments arguing about I seen this. I ain't seen that. Y'all gonna take my black card. Yeah, baby, because you under 25. Sick. Because we could take it for sure. Confiscate <laughs> that motherfucker. I like that. I like that. So, Kev, out of all these movies on this list, which one is your favorite? If you could only watch one of 50 and pay them full, I ain't on here. Which one are you picking? Pay the full is on here. No, it's not. I don't this one. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. It's on number eight. Which one are you picking? <laughs> One, one out of fifty. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Well, I love the gritty black films, mm-hmm. so I'm gonna give you three. Okay. It's between Menace to Society. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good choice. Juice. Mm. And paid in full. Okay. At that point, I can't really decide. Your life is on the line right now. Which one are you picking? Pick one or we shoot you. Uh, don't shoot me. <laughs> I'll pick. Pick one. You know what? I'm going to get away from all three of those. <laughs> and I'm going to go a thin line between love and hate. What? For $100. What? <laughs> yeah. All the movies on this list is the one you pick? A thin line between love and hate. It just it hits. <laughs> what do you thing. like so much about that movie? Martin Let me Lawrence. tell you. I'm about to say that he's the worst nigga in that movie <laughs> ever, <laughs> ever. Is he? Yes. Okay. Why wouldn't he be the worst? Come on, nigga. I'm like, sorry, you're a man. I don't know why I'm asking you this question. You're gonna agree. <laughs> you're gonna agree with everything that man did in that movie. All right. I'm not man. agreeing or disagreeing, but I'm just saying that's a good movie. Plot phenomenal, everything acting. Just, just like a man. Yeah, that would be a, the plot yeah. is what brings you in though. Okay, I think if I had to watch, oh damn, drumline is on this list. <laughs> <laughs> you watch the drumline for the rest of your life. No. Oh, I. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going the best man. And you ain't seen the best man yet, but when you watch, when you watch the best man. You're going to be like, oh, my God, I see why y'all be the best man, Neil Long. Neil Long 
At, I, do, I do like me some Neil Long. And every black person is this. Neil Long Tay Diggs more chestnut. Like if we do a Mount yes. Rushmore of black <laughs> actors, th- he's a great actor. Yes. Three of them three of them actors are on that list. He's a great actor, even though All American, the show itself is just a little choppy. Yeah. But he's great in All American. He's great in All American. Seeing him be like a coach is like okay, okay, Tay. Bobby Baker, yeah. That name is so That's where I'm going. I like that. What's one movie on this list that you haven't seen that you're like, okay, I need to see this next? Ooh, I'd probably say between School Days and Dead Presidents. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. School Days School Days is lit because they shot in the AUC. Ah. And Morehouse kicked. Uh, spike off campus. Oh, that's hard. Literally, they were like, "Look, you doing this jigaboo buffoonery?" Us. And uh, Love Jones. I still got to see Love Ooh. Jones. Kev came over. He was like, <laughs> "It was the way he said it." He was so frustrated. He was like, <laughs> "I came over here to watch Love Jones. I want to watch Love Jones?" And I was like, "Okay, Kev." That, that's we'll how I said it. Yes, you you really. <laughs> I was adamant about seeing that movie <laughs> because this list, man. I'm trying to get this list to all fifty. That way. I could send it out, share it out, and be like, I've seen all 50, you know? You top dog at that point. 28, man. That's, that's not good. Not, you, I mean, you, you're like a little over halfway. You're only three over halfway. You might as well have a 50. <laughs> I feel like if I if I, if I I add 10 more mm. in the next week. Mm. Okay. I mean, you can do 10 in seven days. It's 38. Okay. Progression every single day. Just You just got to watch one. Uh, but the, the issue is... Finding some of these movies because they're classics. Mm. You can't find a classic everywhere. Not a classics are always on Netflix or HBO Max. Very true. They say Tubi. Tubi, so Tubi, Tubi lit. Tubi lit. Yeah, they say Tubi, Tubi lit. Also- Bro, poetic Tubi. justice be on Tubi. I feel like it's oh. hard to find poetic. Like they, it's, it's on, on Tubi. It's on and off. Like you gotta uh, catch it and be like, <gasps> I can see poetic justice. Because I love poetic justice. That was a good movie. What's your favorite part of poetic justice? Because I can tell you mine, but I'll let you go first. Favorite part. Let's just, first of all, John Singleton, may he rest in peace. Second movie out the gate. The day before they started um, Table Reads for Poetic Justice, John Singleton was at the Oscars. He lost the Oscar. He's the youngest and the blackest to be nominated for an Oscar. And he lost, 24 years old. Crazy. And he lost, and then he started Table Reads for Poetic Justice the next day. Just a little, just a little, yeah. Wow. Great film. I can't necessarily tell you my favorite scene of Poetic Justice because it's, it's been a minute. It's, oh, been, a, it's been a little bit. Okay. Minute. It's hard to find. It's but, hard to find. But um, they were arguing outside of the postal van. Yes. For I forgot why, but it was Janet and Tupac. They were arguing about something, man, and they were going back and forth. And I can't remember, but that scene is in my head. I also like the beginning. I hate to be that guy. When Janice sees her boyfriend get smoked. Are you serious? That's, that was a good scene. That it was, was a, it was a great good opener. movie. Yeah, that's how it you get an opener. attention. Yeah. I wanted to say that first, but I didn't want that to be like, oh, this guy. But, hey, look. It's great. Ah, Janet got this scream. I'm like, damn. Janet's an actress, bro. I'm like, oh, they done smoked this man off the roof. This my man, Markel. His name was Markel. Shout out, Kels. Tupac, yeah, shout out Kels. So Tupac coming Kels. to the hair salon, yeah, man, that's how I. I like I liked Q-Tip over Tupac, even though Q-Tip was in the movie for five minutes. I, they could they could they could have switched, you know what I'm saying? But you gotta think, bro. The biggest pop star and the biggest rap star in the world at the time do the biggest movie with the biggest black director, and they're all three are black. That's you gotta celebrate that. And so that's a banger. Biggest. Selling the most records. Tupac just came off of Juice. Janet was finna drop this fire, a life changing album. Bro, she loves Janet Jackson. If you can't tell, she loves Janet Jackson. If you can't tell, I'm for real. Yeah, for shout real. Out, shout out Janet Jackson. Come on the show. She really, she really legend. If you think about it, she's in every TV show. Any black TV show you no, watch, she loves Janet Jackson. <laughs> they mention her name and Michael. The whole Jacksons really got to give it up to a black family. I'll be there. Look, he goes, hold on. <clears throat> Don't you know, baby, you? I'll be there. Ooh. Y'all tell me how I sound. Tell me I ain't sound good just now. <laughs> For real. Lion tell me I ain't kill that note. He did. He did. There we go. You were like Barry White. Uh, you know who Barry White is? Or is that a. 
you talking about the white lady that passed? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> Barry White, this he's an old singer. Like he, Barry, uh, Barry, Barry White, uh, Betty White was Betty. Ooh, Barry White is an old bad. school black man, <laughs> and he had a very deep sing. He, like that's not one. It was deeper. It was. I thought she was on Golden Girls and shit like Betty that. White was, yes. Barry oh, White. Was oh, Jesus <laughs> I did not know that lady was saying, man. Rest in peace, Betty White. Rest in peace, Betty White. No, sir. Barry. I'll put you on to some Barry White. Don't worry. You got a lot. Of, we got some more R&B to listen to, Kevin. Kevin is starting his R&B track. I'm very proud of him. Who are some of the R&B artists you rocking with now? Oh, shut, the, shut the fuck up. Well, guys, I just okay. I'm on a I'm on a little R and B journey. Yes, you know, trying to tap in, see what kind of R and B I like. Okay. <clears throat> right now, the top runners off of this playlist that I got mm-hmm. from Isaac Peters happens to be uh, Genuine mm-hmm. and Janet Jackson. So uh, I ha- I wanted to ask you what favorite Janet song? I can't even give you one yet. Oh man, okay. Yeah. I'm glad that you're listening though. I'm listening. It um, it makes me happy. It makes me smile. I'm, I'm trying. Cause I'm, I love rap. Yeah, he's a, a rap, like a hip hop, but yeah. not not even hip hop. Just rap. Just rap. He wants know. bars. He wants to hear not bars per se, but like he wants to hear a, the music I listen to has bars. I said it. Okay. I was gonna bring up your favorite. Well, you don't even <laughs> stop it. Stop it right there. You know, let it go. <laughs> Just stop. <laughs> stop it right there. I was just, just oh, okay. God. <laughs> Trying to pull my leg. Oh my goodness! Yeah, he's a rap fan, but aren't you going? You fucking RV. Like a tempo, you like to dance, like a tempo shit. I do like to dance. I dance from time to time. Just I some, like that. Just up tempo rhythm. And bl- okay, fuck it, it's okay. Mary J. Blige next. I don't know if you're gonna rock with Mary J. Blige because she's very. But you like, yeah, you like the Lil Kim song. Yeah, that was a good. Song. You like, yeah, that was a classic one. All right, so I'm gonna ask you this question. Yes, sir. I'm gonna say. My wife and kids, mm-hmm. or everybody hates Chris. <gasps> oh, you suck! <laughs> Did you ask me that question? Because Tisha and Tashina are on or doing shows. I don't know. You tell me. You suck. You know I'm gonna rock with everybody hates Chris. Whoa. Now don't get me wrong, both of those shows are laugh out loud, funny. I'm talking about, I'm crying, laughing. <laughs> I went on to my wife and kids just binge watch, and I was like, bro, ain't no way this was on ABC. Like I'm crying, like hilarious. ABC, bro. Like, yes, yes. That show has no reason. Like everybody hates Chris <laughs> is funny because everybody hates Chris. Yes, yes. My wife and kids is funny because they're all funny. Every single one. The baby Every, the baby is hilarious. Junior is dumb and it's just like he's so dumb to the point it's like everything he says is funny. Cause you can't everything. you can't make out the fact that he has no brain cells. None. I'm a fan I'm crying 'cause and then remember somebody on Twitter the other day was like Tisha Campbell was great in Martin, but in my wife and kids, she was shining. For real? I, Tisha I love me some Tisha. There she go right there. Shout out, shout out, Tisha. Make sure y'all shout tune into to thefilmculture.com, black shout stuff all the time. Sure. Type in right seven. there, man. You know, news alerts, music, culture, everything up there for you to see, man. Come on, tap in. Rock with the gang. Tisha, she's funny, too. Like, and both of them. Twice. Yeah, Morgan State. Everybody hates Chris is funny because literally everyone hates Chris. Everyone hates his Chris. His mama, his daddy, his brother. Except his, his best friend. Greg, some, Greg be leaving him dry sometimes. Greg has left Greg him dry be, a few times. Greg don't be rocking with him sometimes. It's like, but you can tell it's like Chris is like it's just him. He fighting his own world. He nobody cares but it's him. Like, him, you know. his dad's I gotta go to kid. work. I gotta take care of the his kids. Mom, his mom hollers so much. She does. She, be tripping. she does. All right, so boom. I'm gonna yes. Go. Watch this. Watch this. Y'all. Okay. 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 <clears throat> I'm gonna go. The game. And girlfriends. I have my answer. As I know, as I know she love girlfriends, but I I think y'all she's gonna say the game. I'm gonna say <laughs> the game is so ignorant. That's why I love it so much. I feel bro. like honestly, everyone who watches this, listens to this, mm-hmm. should know that the game is one of the best oh my 
God. black TV shows. Ever. Out of everything. I'm talking about all the different world, say living it, single, the Jeffersons, mm-hmm. Martin, Fresh Prince, everything. It's the, competing with those shows. The game is up there. Yes. the game in its own lane. It is. The way it's shot, the type of comedy, they're so real. Tasha Mack and Malik Wright, I think they're, they're my real favorite. People. Yeah, yeah. They're yeah. real people. Like, you Tasha, know. Tasha Mack is a real person. Yes. Because yes. you put on quite a show. Oh. Really had me going. Whoa. You know. Oh. I, nigga. I watched that and I was crying. Yo, they had Rick. They had Rick Fox in that. They had a lot of heavy hitters on that show, and Rick Fox. He's an actor too, so he's just like, what the fuck is Rick Fox doing (laughs) on the game? And he was a recurring character. He had episodes. Episodes. He was on like two, three seasons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought I liked him together. (laughs) He'd be like, Tasha, what's wrong? He he played such a a. Crazy, like he was just himself times ten on that yeah. show. Like there's this Rick Fox persona in the world, so he was playing to that, and it was so funny. Like handsome, pretty boy, not that smart, got a lot of money. I'm with this fierce woman, who yeah, leads the strong way. black yeah, woman. Yeah, yeah. She's, she'll holler at anybody that yeah. walk. Yeah. And he love it. He's just like Tasha. Yeah, I, I love you. Like, I need that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, literally. Um. Okay. Watch this. Oh, yeah, that was easy. The game, of course. No, no that was easy. What? And I love girl. Don't get me wrong. My mama watched Girlfriends, so I watch Girlfriends. But My mama watched Girlfriends, too. I yeah. ain't watched Girlfriends. I mean, that was a black woman. Nigga, early 2000s? Of course I ain't watching Girlfriends. It's lit. To you. Um, <laughs> all right, this is... Nah, that's too easy. So I crazy. I got to get you with a... I got to get her with a hard one. Yeah, that was kind of... As soon as you said it, I watched them three seasons of the game. But there's more than that. Oh, no. I'm okay, saying, okay, like... Okay, facts, facts, facts. But them three I, is I thought hard. for a second it was like five to seven or something like that. It's, and it's like... 11 a, Cause they had, they came back three times. CWBT now they on Paramount Plus. Good. <sighs> yeah, yeah. The game is quality. That's what I'm saying, bro. Is <laughs> you can't let go of good TV. You can't. You can't. Good TV lasts forever. And the game, the game has lasted damn near three decades: the early 2000s, the tens, and the twenties. Yo, that is actually pretty scary. <laughs> um, iconic. I'm trying to find a show to put Snowfall against, but when I look, like, when I look at, it, I just know you're gonna pick Snowfall. It probably could be Atlanta, just because they're on the same network in the like same time. Snowfall. Oh, and then I'm like P Valley. I'm like you're gonna watch Snowfall. I'm gonna pick. Snow- you can't say anything. I was gonna put Empire versus Power, but then it's like, I, no. What are you gonna say? I have never seen an episode of Power, and I think <laughs> I haven't seen Empire since like. The first season. I, I do like, not. On the same way, they started watching Empire, and then. Oh yeah, that's me. I stopped watching Empire when they pushed the white baby mama <laughs> down the staircase. I was like, I can't watch that's this. That's like anymore. the first season, right? That's like second, third. Okay, I I couldn't tell you where I started. It was really good when it came out. It was when it first hit. Yeah, it was swinging. They first the hit. Song, like, they had the hot songs and everything. Jesse Smollett and oh, the other goodness. boys, man. They they was hard. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. yeah. They and came back swinging. Fo- you couldn't like, fuck with Empire. And like season Empire three was running. After a while, it just died. I and I don't watch Power. I mean, I'm I sorry. Okay, I don't watch Power. But shout out to Power. They doing their Shout out to Power. Shout out to Fifty Power. for sure. But yeah, ooh, Fifty Universe. Everybody I know love Power. Yeah. I just haven't gotten into it yet. They be on the timeline Sunday. I'm talking about. I've seen groups midnight. of people. We in the middle of an a NFL game. Oh. Sh- Oh, power for the drop. No, for I'm real. Like, oh, okay. They come out what? I guess at midnight. They be on it. Yeah, they be, they on, be on power. It. Power good. Shout out, sure. Shout out to Reek. Got his own show on Universe. Yeah, and nah, he called. He he's a character. I haven't. Yeah, even, I've watched two yeah. shows, two episodes of Power mid. Like these were like finales, right? And Tariq had did some cold shit, like some super spy type of shit. I was like, what the hell? That's what everybody this? say. He be on some shit. Yeah, he's, he's like, like running Black the James Bond motherfucker, some shit like that. Yeah, like he his daddy's son, real. But he's like a drug. Kingpin too. It's and his dad is and his mama. He be had a lot. Bad and his sister. Oh my goodness. He be his on whole it. family gone. Yeah, they he on his own. They lit twin. <laughs> um, I like that. So Kevin, can we? Oh okay, no, no, what no, you about to say? Ahead. I was just gonna ask. You know, we did just watch Players Club. Have you seen Soul Food? If you haven't seen Soul Food, then, this, then we'll have this conversation another day. It's okay. Have we can have this conversation another day. Okay, I have okay, not okay. seen Soul Food. You gotta watch Soul Food to really answer the question. So we gonna wait. Okay, what was you saying? I was uh, about to talk about Snowfall. <laughs> we, no, we can talk about Snowfall. I don't know if you guys know or can tell, but 
Aja and I actually love Snowfall for real, for real. Yes. Like, yes. That's our jam. Like, I ain't gonna lie. For the past three seasons, Snowfall came out. Mm-hmm. Every Thursday morning, I was up an hour before whatever, whatever I had to yes. do. Yes. Watching Snowfall. And I'm talking about, I was really watching that shit too. Like, I'm talking about, I'm invested. I'm talking to Franklin. I'm like, yo, I'm like, Frank, what, you gotta get it right. Come what on. we gotta do? Yes. You, look, stop talking to Jerome and Louie and let's get it down packed. Cut your mom out. We do not oh need to talk God. about your mom at all. Shirley, Betty, whatever her name is, she is not gang. a part of this. She's not gang. You, she's she she not, not gang. Who's like, hey, reap the benefits of the money. Jeremy, you know I mean? she is not gang. She's not holding nothing down. Frank, we own the real estate business now. That's okay. You saying the that. Biz, the, Look, real, the real business. <laughs> his girlfriend, Veronica, he could have dropped her, honestly. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> done. She's done. Take her out. I didn't. Hey, look, I ain't want her around anyway. I didn't like her. She gave me an eerie vibe. Yeah, I still don't know what's up with her. I'd rather. Fight. I don't hate her. I just don't know what's up with I'd her. I'd rather my dog Saint be that bachelor type of nigga. You know, you know, he on that. Yeah, he got that. He got the gold chain. He popping with the little button down. You hear me? You real down. You calling the shot. You know. Instead, he won't be. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have a son. Cut. Yeah, Cut. I feel like it's a girl. I'm gonna just throw the gender. I think she's a girl. But Frank Saint. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. It's so good. Snowfall is the greatest show to hit TV in a very long time, especially drama-wise. That's what I would say. I don't know what's up with Baby Mama because she got a past to her own. She talking about, yeah, my mama used to be a scammer. and We used to. You know, actually, <laughs> actually, I was a. Yes, sir. Can we talk about the character development of, of Leon? <laughs> my my favorite. Leon. Or both. Both. Okay. Nigga trying to bring a Wanda. I'm sorry. We can bring up both. We can bring up. Ah, you know I'm a fan of Leon and Wanda. I think they're the greatest couple on. Can we stop putting them together? No, Kevin. They're meant for each other. Uh, When she was on crack, bro, I I forgot what he said, but she was on crack. She was uh, she was at the house, and Leon tied her up because he really cared. He cared about her the whole way through. When she got shot, Crazy. he cared. He gave her some money. He, wa- he wanted her to get straight. He didn't want her selling drugs. Like, Leon, Leon loves that girl. He's in love with for Wanda. Him. Why? Because he's in love with the crackhead. <laughs> She's not a crackhead no more. He a baby killer. He killed a, he, he killed a child. A, ch- a child killer and a crackhead. Like, we can't, we can't be judged. First of all, let me say it like this. Scully knew what kind of beef he was in. But it went, yeah. You, you got your kids yeah. riding around with your bodyguards, yeah. and them boys wouldn't even know nothing. Leon, look. Leon they hopped the out with, first. Leon hopped out with that hop out, and he rocked out. He can't. Hey, look, this is that was war. Yeah. All fair love is war. Yeah. I mean, I hate. I ain't I'm not saying it. he's wrong because he didn't like kill a child on purpose. Yeah. So I'm not saying he's. I'm just saying if we talking about and if we put them two. I'm glad his character felt that pain from that. Yeah. That's what he made was down his bad development for him, way yeah. hard. Like yeah. he knew he was hurt. He's like, I can't keep selling drugs. I can't keep shooting. He did not want to be a part of that down change that was mm-hmm. that was created and mm-hmm. i'm glad he was, that's what makes leon in a real character yeah because he could have they could have made him like a zombie and just like oh he killed the kid he could have been a crash dummy but he's like no saint i can't do this that's how community like, you gotta care you're franklin right hand man and you know there's he's a shooter, lot of shooter. He's the shooter. There, there's a few moments <laughs> where leon's like i don't want to do this anymore and then franklin's like god damn it you gonna do this shit <laughs> He'd that was like, the end of season four. Was that the man boy season? That was the man boy season, right? When he it, said that, it, he was done. He does it a lot, actually. Leon's like, I don't want to. Do- I put this shit, and man. Leon be like, saying, I don't want to do this anymore. Franklin be like, God damn it, Leon, what's gotten into you? And Franklin's then, over. Cause he Franklin all in. Franklin, he got no choice. He's gonna die about it. Like yeah. he he ain't no escape plan. Everybody got an escape plan, but Franklin. He's like, um, no, nah, I'm gonna I'm gonna stay ten toes with this. And uh, you know. I don't care if you haven't been updated on this newest season because it's at this over. point, if you haven't been over, I don't give a a hooting, tooting, rooting that you ain't see it yet. But Franklin, but I'm about to spoil Cole, it. So Cole, if you, if you want to skip it, if you want to skip it one minute, that show I been over you to do since that. like April. It's June. Y'all should have seen Snowfall. <laughs> <laughs> um, Franklin beefing with his family is insane. It's insanity, honestly. You beefing with with your blood uncle and auntie who just got married, who just got married, all this love in the air, and it's like, man, I gotta beef with them, cause then you know, in the end, it's gonna come down to death. Yeah, somebody, somebody gotta, gotta die. die. And if it's me, I'll kill Louis. <laughs> 
I shoot her in her face. I think man. Kane going because remember he told Kane at the hospital. Oh, he did it. Yeah. Whispered in her ear, his ear. That oh, shit was cold. It. Man, Kane is the best villain to be on that show since Man Boy. We didn't even get to see everything that he's capable of. Yeah, though. man, now he's going to go crazy. He got shot. He's going to be that villain in a wheelchair. Back on the player's club. He's going to be scared. A lot of great movies include villains in wheelchairs. Yes. It's yeah. A, it's a nice theme. Because it's like you think I'm weak. But I'm, but not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm finna fuck y'all up. Everybody gonna get it. Get it, uh, nigga. What? Yeah. Mayhem. It's cause it's between Reed, Kane, Louis, and Franklin Beef. We still don't know if Alton is alive yet. Fuck that nigga. I'd kill him myself if I was on that show. It's like he he meant he meant well. No, he did not. But there's nothing good that's gonna cut. There's anything. If you root for Alton on Snowfall, I'm not rooting for Alton okay. at all. No, but no, if, I'm not rooting. This to the general public. Yeah, if you yeah. root for Alton on Snowfall, then you a flunky. Yeah, I mean, he said the CIA agent's real name on a public interview. He put his son in jeopardy. We could have just ran off with the money. You ain't gonna do all that. that. Like, <laughs> what's going on here? It's but, gonna be some beef. Remember the episode where they had three shootouts and one. Ooh, Kev. Hey, you better make me rewatch Snowfall already. Because watching Snowfall on Thursday is like watching Saturday morning cartoons. No bad. That's really how it feels. I'm talking about. I'm waking up before work. Yes. <laughs> watch yes. Snowfall. I'm yes. talking about full shift. Yes. I'm looking like man. I gotta get to I'm sleep get early. Snowfall. I gotta watch Snowfall tomorrow. But y'all tripping? I'm off nobody's the game. staying up till three a.m. to watch Snowfall. I'm not, and I don't. I don't be on cable. Only when I'm back home with my people, they got cable. I don't have cable. <laughs> we rocking out with Hulu. We got um, streams. <laughs> Stream services, gang, gang, gang. I like it. Three shoot because I, I like to read it on Twitter. Because even if I read it on Twitter, it's n- it is never one I'm finished. Hold on, guys. TV. Aja is so weird. She has no problem like reading the movie before watching it or yeah. any of that. I, I mean, didn't know what's gonna happen. <laughs> no, I didn't know what's going down. If it's Has Wednesday, happened. yeah. If it's if it's Wednesday. Mm-hmm. I'm not getting on Twitter. I'm I'm gonna read it. I can't. Hope, read. but it's the whole time. It don't matter what's going on. The whole timeline is talking about snowfall. Because the motherfuckers I fuck with, they gonna tell you what happened in that show like verbatim. Like they watching in real time. They'll be like, "Damn, they killed Ivy." Like you, mm, mother. Mm, mm. I saw you in person. Rest in peace, Ivy. Had a picture. 1958, 1988. Like they, okay, yeah. boom. Watch this. Watch this. Yeah. Never mind. You ain't gonna do it. I was gonna say BMF or power. It's BMF though. <laughs> to me. I haven't. I also didn't watch Power, so I can't say that. Uh, yeah, I have I'm not a not that I'm not a fan, I just haven't seen either. I shows. didn't know who I could put BMF with. Mm-hmm. BMF? Yeah. Probably Snowfall, to be honest. Like closest like Yeah, but BMF is not touching Snowfall. You don't think? I haven't seen the full no. season though. Of I, what? I've seen like Three episodes of BMF. I know what happens enough. Well, then that's the that's the whole point. BMF like when it first home. dropped, it was lit. I'm talking. About, I was waiting for that Sunday yeah. too. Yeah, BMF was great. Everybody was, everybody was tuning in to BMF. Man, Lil Meech was in that bit turning up for Acting. sure. I want to see him in some more stuff. I think Lil Meech has a great. While you're saying that, Lil yeah. Meech was in Euphoria for one episode, I, and I, I loved it. I will say this: I was very disappointed because I wanted Lil Meech to be a bigger character. character I wanted yeah. him to be like. An important figure. You know, yeah, yeah I wanted yeah. to be like, boom, every two other episodes, he bagging like, yo, what's good? Root, what up? Like, man, that nigga was one was, episode. He was good because, you know, he's this rising star, so they, they try to put him in the rising star pocket. So it was a great look. It was a great one look. One cameo. Yeah, one, one episode. I was like, oh, he Nigga in. like me, nigga like me, I need about, if, four, we five, got, six, if we got 12 episodes, give me about four. Really give me two, three, he's, like three. He's going to be great. I'm yeah. excited because he's like a young black star. He yeah. has a lot of potential. A lot of lot of up uphill. Yeah, I like it. I like I like I like. The, Speaking of Euphoria, can um, yes. I just like to shout out Zendaya. Okay. Phenomenal black actress, Let's young black actress. Yeah, I'll give a clap for Zendaya. Zendaya Spider Man, Doom, everything. This, she's in, she's fucking Mary Jane. That's a classic. Mary character. Jane Watson. Yes. Is. That's her last name for it. Watson. It's a very yeah. ethnic last name. I hate you. I, <laughs> <laughs> I'm so serious. Zendaya goes crazy in Spider-Man. I rock with Zendaya. For sure. She holds Spider-Man down. Okay. Look, look, Tom Holland, I can see why he fall in love with her because, you know, they 
They linked. Yeah, he's like he really feel like Spider Man, you know? Because once those superheroes become superheroes, they're the people forever. Yeah, Tobey Maguire. Yeah, I can. What else was he in? I'm Robert not Downey Jr. Like, oh, he's Iron Man. <laughs> he's Iron Man forever. Yeah. Chris Evans, you you Captain America, my what's boy. The, what's the old Superman from like the nineties? You talking about old boy, man? Dean Kane. <laughs> Dean. <laughs> I don't know if she's right, so I can't. No, say that's what that's what it no. is. Dean Kane is Superman from back in the day. He was like the one, like James Bond, 007. Yeah, and then there's there's a few of them now. But Daniel yes. Craig, the best James Bond. But anyway, that's not the point. No, it's not. not We're talking about BMF. Literally, Martin or Fresh Prince? Been on a Martin binge lately. Going with Martin. Funny, funnier, funnier. I'd be cracking up at Martin. I'm sorry. I be cracking up at Martin. I'm sorry, Kev. What? And I I grew to be a Martin fan. What? Because before I used to watch Martin, and man, be like, Fresh Prince is killing that shit. Fresh no. Prince is killing Martin. <laughs> no, Martin. Nah. Lit. Fresh Prince. I'm not saying I don't like Fresh Prince. Fresh Prince is better. Yeah. You're wrong. <laughs> That's my take. What makes Fresh Prince better than Martin? Martin is funnier. Martin is brighter. Martin is colorful. And I'm not saying Fresh Prince ain't. I'm just saying I be cracking up at Martin. I be crying at Martin. Crying. He's straight. <laughs> he not a Fresh Prince. What's the most classic? I can name like four off the top classic Martin episodes. Other than his daddy leaving. What's some classic? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> How come he didn't warn me, man? Other than his father leaving, what's a classic? Like everybody knows this episode of Fresh Prince. I think the one when he's hooping, when he was in the gym hooping, dunking. I mean, it, there's a few. The one where there was a hitman looking for him. That everybody knows. I know the episode of Fresh Prince because I watch Fresh Prince. That the entire world knows. Because I can think. name some Martin. Martin, when they stole his CD player and he had to act like New Jack City and he had the fake dog and he was like. Rrr. That's classic. Everybody know that. Yeah. Everybody knows Dead Plumber. When the plumber came and died and they had the, they had a vigil for the plumber, but he just fell asleep. That's classic. The one where they were in the, they went on vacation to like this hotel or something. And it was the the, the big ass rat. And Martin was like, that ain't no damn puppy. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Classic. And that was just three. Three. When he got to Gina Hotel and she, he thinks she cheating, but she really on a work trip. And he take Martin and Cole with him, and they hide under the bed trying to, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, that's okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yeah, you know him. You thinking right now, like, okay. damn, I know exactly what you're talking keep about. No, nah, I just gave you four. Give me one, other than his daddy. <laughs> you know, the first person has a lot of episodes, Baby. a lot of classic episodes. Like what? Come on, man. You you putting me on the bad spot. I think I think. One that everybody might know is when they went to Vegas for Carlton's birthday and they had to do the dun, dun, dun. They know that scene. Okay, yeah. they know the that one with Aunt Viv dancing. She goes to dance okay, class. That's classic. Yeah, that's yeah, classic. yeah, 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 yeah. Everybody knows that. Let me think. Okay, see, now that opened up my memory. Right. Um, I'm trying. I'm, okay, I'm going to throw you The one the one with Nia Long. What's, what's she what's she, she was in all of them, bro. She wasn't a lot. She wasn't a lot. She had this That same. was classic, though. I, when she, when she broke Will's looks, heart. I'm pretty sure at one point she broke Will's heart. It was something, man. She, they had, they were on like a little break or something. Something had happened. And she went out with another guy. And was that the one when they were in the grocery store and Will had on the suit? And he, okay. See, that's what I'm saying, Kev. That's what I'm saying. We going back to back. I ain't saying it's better. Okay, hold on. (laughs) Let's, Let's make a little segment jump. Okay. To name that movie. Go crazy. I got us one, guys. I'm pretty sure she won't know it. If she does know it, I mean, she knew eight, 47 out of 50 on that list. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, I of course, know. it's something off that list. Right. I should know this. Ooh. Go crazy. No, that's, <laughs> actually, that's actually too <laughs> easy. <laughs> four, five, four, I got two, two lines. Yes. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. I've been loving you since I was 11, oh, and the shit won't go away. <laughs> That's love and basketball. Oh, you a fool. That's love and basketball. Because that, that was when I play you for your heart. And oh, what you do that? Ooh, okay. He said 11. I was like, oh, yeah. Monica and Quincy holding it down. Man, I'm like that. Give me the next one. 
I play you. <laughs> For what? Woo-hoo-hoo. Okay. Your heart. Movie number two. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> uh, Miss Hughes, what page 15 on? Man, <laughs> if you don't get your the wood head ass out of here. Okay. That was easy. What page 15 on? <laughs> easy. I like that one. Yeah, nah. Man, you gotta come harder. Let me let me let me think. Let me see. Let me see. I just did all about the Benjamins. You know that. I did it did 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 forty five, forty seven. I did it. Let me get you a good one. Cause I ain't like how you found them out that quick. Yeah, that was so easy. I thought the first one was gonna be a little hard. I was like, where's this from? I didn't know you knew love and basketball like that. You can't hoop. <laughs> Got her. <laughs> so when we do the segment where me and Kev go to the court, and I'm busting I'm not gonna ass. lie to y'all. I hope we never get to that segment. <laughs> <laughs> and I bust his ass. I just not want to be my potter no more. I'm I don't about, think Kevin can hoop. He can do a lot of things, but hooping is definitely top five. You know what? Every I feel like every black man thinks that they can hoop. And I'm not saying y'all can't. I'm just saying, I feel like everyone, if you meet any black man, he's going to be like, yeah, I can bust your ass in basketball. Like, of course I can. Like every black I feel like as a black man, if you say you're not good at basketball, <laughs> then oh, you perfect. weird. Even, even if you do suck, you got to say, like, got to have the confidence. Well, yeah. If we wouldn't tell the soul, I could do it. Kev, this is one of your favorite movies. And if you say you really know the movie, you say you love it, you don't get this right. Okay. Easy. You better know. It's Let's go. I had a dope ride, but I was sitting on some bullshit. I needed some. Man, society, stop playing. Come on, Kane. Come on, man. That man was looking for the rims. Come on, he needed the rims. He, he was did. halfway he there. He did. Caught old boy in the cheeseburger line, man. Mm-hmm. Okay, oh, I got another one. Come on. I don't know if you... Baby, you been lying about where you going uh, and who you been with? Oh, hold on, hold on. Um... Uh, I give you. I can give you a hint. Yeah, let me get a hint. Mid two thousands, two thousand six, two thousand six, two thousand six. You lying. And the character was somebody's mama. Two thousand six. Who? And the character, but she not a big character. She only in it for like, but she with one of the main actors. So, baby, you been lying about uh, where you going and who you been with. She a mama. It's not a baby boy, huh? No. That's a one. <laughs> That's a one. My bad, y'all. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. We, we getting there. We going through the list. Oh, six. Kev, it's like the eat. Like, it's like, right. It's literally like. And I've seen this movie? Yes. For sure? Yes. Oh, six? Yes. ATL? Yes. <laughs> my bad, y'all. That my was Lulu Mama when her daddy brought her home from the skating ring after she found her and she was sitting on the stairs and she was like, what? What? I don't want to go to Brenton. I want to go to Spellman. I'm mad. I said baby boy. Yeah, I <laughs> knew it was ATL. My bad. All right, if you was Rashad and your girl was Nunu, would you go crazy like he did about the, how your girl was rich and didn't tell you and lived in, in Buckhead and, and Sandy Springs? and No, because... He was on the east side, west side. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, nah, I wouldn't be mad. I wouldn't be mad. You want, you want to sell her necklace back? Give me my necklace. Why? Because it means something to me. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he a fool for that, but I probably no, wouldn't. Have, I wouldn't have tripped out. I'd have been like, man, fuck you, bitch. <laughs> you would have been that mad. No, I wouldn't have been she mad. She pulled up at all. to the hood in the pants. Crazy. Crazy. That's how I know she loved me. You, Kev, yeah. she she been about him the whole movie. Yeah. He was just that was his character flaw. He didn't see real love. He was he was fighting everything. Yeah. That he thought everybody was against him. Rashad thought he was never gonna win. Parents gone. Uncle suck. Ooh, you're not, gonna know, you're not gonna one? know this one. You're not gonna know this one. She ain't gonna know this one, y'all. <laughs> Why did? <clears throat> you gotta get the ground beneath your feet, partner. Get the wind behind your back and go out in a blaze if you got to. Otherwise, you ain't shit. You might as well be dead your damn self. What movie that is? I know this movie. Oh, she don't know y'all. She don't know. Hey, <laughs> cause it's so profound. Hey, can you give me a year or like a time frame? This movie came. Oh, I just knocked over that. I'm sorry, guys. This movie came out in. Cause that's such a profound. I know it's like a. 1990. The wind beneath your feet. I'm before I find it. I'm gonna say 1996. 
it's a it's a big one like it's one that everybody's seen yeah definitely 96 what the hell came out 96 92 okay i'm about to say that was 1992 like, my bad four years off now I'll i gotta pull now i gotta pull the 92 list up i'll do better next time it's on that list huh that year list Okay. It is. Oh, <laughs> that's easy. It's juice. Yeah, it's, it's juice. juice. Come it's on, juice. man. I couldn't Who even... said it? Bishop Tupac. When they were the lockers. Man, yeah, you're talking yeah. to Q. Yeah, that's classic. Mm. Tupac is a thespian. That man really. Be yeah, he is for down. real. He, he really be acting down. Favorite Tupac movie? Put it just as the juice. I know which one you're picking. You already know it's juice, man. Juice. Jesus Christ! You know, it was just before you asked that. Shit. I did. I don't even know why I try to do you like that. Dang, Kev. That was a good one. I know. And I feel like I acted that out pretty well, too. You did. I was like, ooh, this is this is one of the moments. Okay. 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 So you just started watching House Party. <laughs> How do you feel about this series as a whole? First of all, I thought you'd seen it before. I thought House no. Party was one of those. Like I thought everybody seen House Party. What's your favorite one? And why do you like it so much? And that best one probably would have been number. I'm gonna say number one. Yeah, it sets the tone. It's the original, and yeah. you can't get better than that. But when we watched three, we were like, "Dang, three not as bad as." You know what I'm saying? Three was it's okay. decent. Yeah. Three, three is very decent. It's like it's watchable. You gotta watch four and five, and they're doing a six. Did y'all hear what she said? You have to watch four and five. No, no, no. I didn't see five. I haven't seen five. I've definitely seen four. I was a I was a Marcus Houston fan back in the day. Ooh. What? His next movie called. Mm. Go nuts. This is <laughs> This is easy. <coughs> Look at my roof. <laughs> you ready? Yes. She do hair, babysit, and sell dope. Please don't know when the kid is done in. <laughs> Next Friday. Why did I have a? Wow, we were on the same page. We were, I don't like that. I don't like that. Cause I'm like, damn, the minute she did, I'm like, fuck, she's gonna know. I was in the Mike Epps house, man. I was in the, I was in the wheelhouse. She was already feeling like. Do, 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 I gotta do. go again. Cause I don't like that. Bye, Felicia. I don't like that. I don't like. I, I don't like how you was on it before I had to even get in the ring. Can't even say it. Thank oh, you. Man. Next Friday is. Last one. Uh, so last one. So I gotta do one that I know is not on your mind. Yeah, next Friday is. I'm. I'm. I'm knowing. This is the last one, guys. So I'm okay, gonna go do her. one that I just feel like she's not thinking about. That's not on her mind. Make the money, girl. Don't let it make you. What movie is it? What'd you say? I'm sorry. Make the money, girl. Don't let it make you. Man, that's Players Club. <laughs> Come on, Diamond. I got this one. Uh, <coughs> I'm sorry, that's not a movie club. Yo, my name is Zaja. And now it's Dan. Okay, like, that's not what we're doing. It's um fine. All right, everyone. Uh, Buy your heads and, and close your ears. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> It's a comedian saying it. Bow your head and close your ears. Is this Johnson's Family Vacation? Are you serious? Is that a... <laughs> just when I think I got you. Just Are you when I, kidding me? Just when I think I got you, I don't have you. That's crazy. Kev, are you serious? Nah, that's crazy. As that's, <laughs> that's crazy. That's crazy as hell how she knew Oh, that. my goodness. Didn't even give you too much. Didn't give me nothing. <laughs> Damn! Wow, Kev. Well, on that note, um, thank you guys for tuning in <laughs> to the very first episode. Hold on. Oh, you got another one? You didn't like how I, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't like that I got back. <laughs> yeah, I, actually, guys, I don't think I can end on that kind of note. I'm sorry. It's like when you're in the gym, you got to make that last shot for you leave. Yeah, and you kind of just. Dump I got it me. quick. What's a good one? You said it went on my mind. Yeah, I. Right. Johnson, I was like, "Damn!" Then you knew that shit. <laughs> the way you dropped the phone, you couldn't believe. I couldn't. You gotta come harder, man. 
I'm like, I don't like that. I don't like that. You gotta see school days next, man. In life, there are times. This is quiet. easy too, though. That was a that was a good one, though. Th- that was a good that one. Was really good. <laughs> that mean you. Damn, he was on it. I'm mad as fuck. Yeah, that was that was great. Okay. I was like, what what movie are they praying? <laughs> okay. Mm-mm. I'm, no, that's I'm her. Way. I'm her. Yeah. Her. Miss You know, I, I'm gonna rock out. This is an easy one. I'm gonna rock out because this is how I want to end it. Okay. <coughs> that nigga like me, man. I love the game. I love the game. I love the hustle. I love the hustle. Man, I be feeling like one of them ball playing niggas, you know, like Bird, Magic or something. Yeah, you know a nigga got the dough. What do you say? A nigga can lead the league. But if I leave, fans still gonna love me, man. I get love out here in Harlem, man. I done sold coke on these streets, man. Hash, weed, heroin. As long as niggas is feeling, a nigga like me can hustle it. That's my gift in life, eh? You know? Aja, who yeah. said that? The one and only Mitch. My boy Mitch. Money making, making Mitch. Mitch. From Paid in Full. From Paid in Full. Great man. film. Thank you for putting me on. Real, real, real classic. I appreciate you having the open eyes I rock, and ears I rock with it. I like That's Paid a great movie. That's a hood classic. 10 out of 10. Yeah. Everybody love it. Yeah. From around the way. If you love it, if you don't, you hating. Um, this was the first episode of Enjoy the Show podcast. I'm here with Aja Peter. It is me, Kevin Kevosi, the Goopster. Here talking to you live in the flesh, man. We here stationed in wherever we're at in our studio. I like that. Yeah. I like that. You know. Thank y'all for tuning in. Very first episode. Episodes coming more and more soon and soon. Make sure y'all tap in with the film culture for anything and everything. Black movies, black TV shows, black, black, black. Thefilmculture.com. The film culture on Every social media, Twitter, Instagram, please, Facebook, please, TikTok. Please don't be afraid to tap in, interact it's spelled with us. like it says. Enjoy the show podcast produced by the Film Culture. We here every day to stay. Please stay tuned. Film Culture, we love you. Number one. Thank y'all. Peace. <laughs>